everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and today I'm joining you from Randy Vaughn Studios. It's upstairs of my craft room, but it's Randy's studio and I'm borrowing it today. Um, and we're going to be doing, announcing the winner of this super cute little fairy house. Or just more of like an incense beach themed bungalow. Hey Buttons, hey Cedar. Um, and then we're also going to be doing some mail opening. I've got a little pile of mail here next to me. Um, just kind of hanging out. <laughs> yep, Buttons is the first one in. <laughs> and I'm going to mess with the camera a bit. Hey Muggsy. Hey Trinity. Hey Ashley. Hey Mary. Uh, hey Kate. <laughs> so um, I'm going to wait until 2 o'clock to announce the winner. Um, that way we have a chance for everybody to come in who, who might hopefully be able to get in here. <laughs> hey, Silver. Hey, Mist. <laughs> <Mwah. laughs> um, so we have a bunch of mail. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Hi, Fun. Finally made a live video on time. Hey, Ida. <laughs> hey, Helen. I'm doing great today. But I'm going to start with something that I ordered more than a month ago. Um, ah, Nina says, hi, I was just watching the house uh, tutorial when the phone got notifications. She jumped straight here. Um, <laughs> notifications on the spot today. Hey Randy, uh, I'm going to need for you to uh, tell me what the uh, winner's name is at two o'clock. Cause I remember the first name, I don't remember, I'm not certain on the last name and I don't wanna announce the wrong person because of course I didn't write it down. Hey Zivity, hey Yoga, hey Rachel, hey Jenny. So this is something I had ordered and honestly, um, hi Shell, are you coming to this year's NakaCon? I don't know, uh, I won't be vending, I'm pretty sure of that, but um, I don't know yet if we'll be going just to attend. Hey Carrie, I'm a performance makeup artist and I always use your wonderful tutorials. Right on. Hey, Lee. <laughs> Thanks, Randy, you're a lifesaver. <clears throat> but yeah, I had ordered this over a month ago and it just now finally arrived. Um, so now I can style my wigs in peace. Hey, Dante. But this is a canvas cork wig block um, that is 24 inches, so it matches my big old head. Um, because a lot of the wig caps or uh, wig blocks that I was finding were like 22 and a half or 23 inches, and that inch doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it makes a big difference, especially when you got a big old noggin, and it, especially having a lot of thick hair that I need to bunch up into the wig as well. It helps. This is about as big as my head is. Um, says, hey Vaughn, have you gotten a chance to use your tools from Tiny Pandora yet? I haven't. I've been watching a bunch of her tutorials to kind of see the different ways to um, utilize them. Uh, NakaCon is March 18th. I actually think that weekend, will we be home that weekend? Because in March we have Mid-SouthCon and then we will also be at Gem City Comic Con. Uh, I think. <laughs> so we're going to be vending t-shirts for some friends. But it finally arrived, you guys. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to... I, I've been waiting and waiting for this so I could style my wig and do the headdress and horns. And now it's here. But what was super cool about that is it also came with a few other things. It came with a wig cap. A spandex dome cap. That'll be really nice. Fun is building a prison. Ah! And it came with a table clamp. This is probably going to be the most useful thing. Um, being able to just clamp it to a table. As well as, what on earth is this? It's all broken. Ooh, another wig cap. A weeding cap. Very cool. And some tea pins. That makes me happy. Let's do a two on the wig side. I will for sure, horror. And then the packaging slip. What was this? This is... Strong and stretch crystal string. Right on. Okay. So I guess this can be used. I don't know what for. I'll have to figure that out. Trying to talk a dealer into selling me a vintage block like that at the antique place I sell it. It's personalized. It's extra creepy style. Right on. Yvonne, how do you measure your head for a wig form? Amanda, what I did is I pin curled my hair 
um, the way that I would if I'm going to be wearing it underneath a wig. And then I just took a tape measure and measured around the biggest part of my head, which came out to like 23 and a half. Um, well, no, it was 24 and a half. Uh, and then I got a 24 inch wig head because it's the biggest I could find. Um, so I have a massive head, uh, I guess. Oh, but it's so glad that, that finally arrived because today I've been working on the belt um, for the Capricorn costume, which I was really hoping to have done by now, but it's work in progress. It's Tuesday, Von Day, <laughs> Scarla. Nina says the store that used to sell my stuff is closing, but she asked if I want to go around and sell my crafts with her. She's a crafter too on markets and craft fairs and such. It'll be awesome. Oh, Nina, good luck. I bet that'll be awesome. <laughs> Okay, is it 2 o'clock yet? No, we've got five more minutes before I announce the winner to our fairy house. And for those of y'all who didn't know, I am doing a giveaway every Tuesday to my patrons because y'all are awesome and very supportive and make my dreams come true. Uh, and this is just one of the ways that I try to give back to you guys. I also do um, early release videos now to my patrons. Um... I still release all of my tutorials to everybody here on YouTube, but sometimes up to a week early, I post a longer version onto Patreon. Um, and it's just like something that like, I won't have it sped up to like two times speed or something. So instead of a 10 minute video, it'll be a 20 minute long video. But um, it all still finds its way here to YouTube for everybody. But I thought it'd be nice to offer you guys some early release stuff. Um, oh, this is heavy. Okay, this is from the Epoxy Resin Store. Does the phone need in right now? I don't know what you mean, Randy. Um, the phone is plugged in, Randy. Can y'all hear me okay? Is everything good? No staticky or anything like that? Ooh! Resin! Stack sounds. Okay. Randy, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> sounds good. Unplug it. Any particular reason, Randy? Okay. On sound. Okay. Alright, I listen to my Randy, so... But this is ClearCast 7000 Jewelry ca Craft Coating and Casting Resin. Ooh. Using a round mixing cup makes equal parts by volume. Pour resin into hardener and stir well for three to five minutes, scraping the sides in the bottom of the cup. Let stand in mixed container for five minutes to allow bubbles to rise to the surface. It is recommended to mix a minimum of 50 grams per mixture. This product is ready to use. Oh, guys, we get to do resin casting. I wonder what kind of things you can use to color resin different colors because I know how to put like that you can put like flakes and stuff um but like I don't know I'm excited to try this out though <laughs> okay and then this one here doesn't say who it's from I don't know what it is I'll use my scissors Randy thank you for bringing me scissors I stole some out of your desk, though. Sound is okay. The crickets frying bacon wasn't on. Just a tidbit hissing. Now, I just recently found that DIY gear earrings are a huge hit. I've been making them for my booth, but sold half already. Would people stop buying so I can keep up? Oh, don't wish that on yourself, Erin. It's always nice. I would always rather be low on inventory uh, and selling it as quick as I make it. <laughs> right on. Peter Brown does a lot of resin. Chalk pastels. Okay. Ooh. Y'all yeah, little flowery bead caps. I love the metal bead caps. These are so pretty. Who sent me these? <laughs> if, if it's the amethyst beads, it's for me. Woo, no spoilers, Kristen. <laughs> oh, those are beautiful. These are always handy, 100% of the time. <laughs> okay, is it? Ah, thanks, Kristen. <laughs> We got one minute till we announce the winner. 
Where did you? They were sent to me, Rachel. It looked like they are from the epoxyresinstore.com. <laughs> You'd consider coming to Montreal in August, maybe. <laughs> Okay, hey Randy, can you type the name of who won? And there's the cat banging on the door to get out. Hey Valerie! I can throw up some examples of the earrings for later on Patreon. This is a random collection of sets I make, so no good or bad options. Right on, Aaron. Must walk funny. Christine Harris, congratulations! On winning this beautiful little I, I love how this one came out I try to not toot my own horn but I'm jealous of you Christine we'll be mailing this off to you um <coughs> soon before the end of the month <laughs> so oh Chris I've got lots more to open but congratulations Christine and again for those of y'all who want to participate in my weekly giveaways um, all you need to do is become a one dollar or more patron if you pledge one dollar you get your name in the hat once if you pledge five dollars you get your name in the hat five times and if you pledge more than that you get digital download content early release videos craft crates mailed to you all sorts of stuff so It says, are you sure the winner is not Jacqueline White? Says Jacqueline White. <laughs> Y'all are awesome. <laughs> but congratulations so much. <laughs> um, okay, so this one is from Amazon Fulfillment Services. What is this? What's this? What's this? I feel like that's my song every Tuesday. Ooh! Wow. Norse Mythology and Fantasy Coloring Adventure. Both of these look to be by Jade Summer. Y'all. I will never be bored on road trips ever again. <laughs> oh, thank you, Crafton. <laughs> oh, these are so cool. Give me just a sec. I've got to let the cat out. <laughs> Always on the wrong side of the door. Go, go. Don't sit there and sniff the door. Mm, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can put it in a diffuser, but it has jojoba oil. It sometimes like clogged diffusers, so just watch it. Ooh, right on. Yeah, by the way, I'm wearing Headache Relief by the Enchanted Oak today. Just shameless plug. Um. <laughs> Ooh, now this one is from Sabrina McDonald. Hey, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Randy's studio today. Um, we've got Lauren and Zach with LaRuin cosplay are over here hanging out. And there's just so much going on down in the craft room today that I was like, it's easier for me to just go upstairs than it is to bother everybody with like, hey, be quiet. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I do a giveaway every Tuesday now, Jenny. Hey, everyone. <laughs> but yeah, this one is from Sabrina in Texas. Oodle Wally. Okay. I, oh, woo, I see seeds. <laughs> and now, these, this is the only blank wall in the studio right now. Well, this one and that one. But I'll show you guys real quick. You can see, well, this is Randy's studio, and that's eventually how all the walls are going to end up. You can see he's got an empty spot from where he mailed off his last giveaway. This is Randy's studio. It is awesome. Have we started world domination yet? I don't know, Brett. How are your balls doing? <laughs> okay, I have to tell you guys. Uh... <laughs> Brett sent us a picture of some, like, balls. Uh, like, um, we did Randy Moved the Dragon. This is Randy's little stand of, uh, well, the whiteout from the, from the window is killer. So let's see. Can we get this? 
No, it's, we're not going to be able to pick up on it with the window open. It's too bright outside. But uh, Randy's got a little display there with like his little munchkin guy and the uh, predator lady and the dragons. Okay, I'm going to read this note though. But yeah, Brett sent us a picture of some like balls that uh, were like something smoosh. And I was like, hey Randy, look at Brett's balls. <laughs> Okay, uh, it says, it doesn't say whether or not I can read it, so I'm going to read it. Um, <laughs> it says, hi, Yvonne. Hey, Sabrina. I just wanted to thank you for being such an inspiration to me and so many. You've gotten me hooked on chain mail and wire wrapping. You've definitely helped me broaden my horizon. <laughs> so this is just to say thank you, and I hope you enjoy everything in this package. Warmest regards, Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina. Now, I see something in there. Hey, Peddler. Ooh, Ember. <laughs> She's scratching on the door again. First thing first. Seeds. I'm starting to catch the gardening bug. Again. Again, again. Ooh, Texas wildflower mix. Cosmo seeds. Because this year I'm basically going to stick to flowers and herbs in the garden for the most part. Just a daisies. Timed release all-purpose plant food. That'll come in super handy. In Texas wildflower mix. It looks like it has some blanket flowers and some rutabecchia and Piper says, so when is mom due in? Um, my mom's uh, visit got, like she changed her mind and is staying in Oklahoma for a week and she should be here to visit like about a, like this coming Monday. We'll see though. So, <laughs> so it's like panic cleaning, I'll have to do that again in a week anyways. Um, thank you for the seeds though, Sabrina. Welcome back, Kristen. So, ooh, bunch of bubble wrap too. I like saving the bubble wrap. Good gravy. What else in here, Sabrina? Oh my goodness. Y'all don't want me to do seed bead tutorials, do you? Because I've been getting a lot of seed beads lately, and that's phenomenal. That's been the biggest thing that's been holding me back from doing all that, and it's time consuming, but. <coughs> Excuse me. Aaron says that should be interesting with mom visiting for the next Tuesday stream. I don't know yet if y'all will get to meet my mom, because I don't know how she feels about being on camera. Um, and. Well, we will see. Like, I, it's not something I'm going to push them into clay. Right on. I received my Patreon craft kit today. I love the teardrop clay beads. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm sorry it took so long. We mailed them out um, almost two weeks ago now. Oh, Sabrina! Y'all! I, I, I'm... Okay. I'm spoiled. I want you guys to know that. Like, I mean, there is absolutely zero question in my mind that I am probably one of the most spoiled human beings. <laughs> like, oh, it's a little flying pig. That is so cute. Look at its butt. Ah! <laughs> oh, blink. That is so cute. I didn't even know that I needed this, but now that I have it, I needed this in my life. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Happy little flying pig. <laughs> Man, I think she used a whole roll of bubble wrap, though. I mean, that's good. I should use more bubble wrap when I send stuff. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. There's little Aurora crystals in here. Sarah says, is that from someone from Cincinnati? That is their city mascot. No, this is shipped out from Texas. Um, I don't want to be giving away people's house addresses, but... um. Oh, Sabrina, thank you so much. And these little organizers are perfect for it, too. Hey, Rhea, we've just started opening mail. Christine Harris won this week's fairy house. Hopefully, I'll be sculpting some more, um, making some more so we can do more fairy house giveaways. But I do giveaways every Tuesday now. Oh, my gosh, all the, all the different colors and different sizes. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, those blue ones. Those will go perfect in my costume. Oh! Just, oh man. So, what's the first seed bead weave y'all want to learn? 
Storm keeps killing signal. Hey, Jim, stay safe in that storm. Let's meet you, Erin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I hope so. Uh, Sabrina, are you in here? Because I wonder how many of these beads I might be able to use with tatting as well. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at her little dress. A little fairy. The old Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and everything seems to have come through uh, really well, like no breaking. <laughs> it's very shiny. Y'all know I love some good shiny. I'm going to set that off to the side. That way uh, it doesn't get smushed. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. This is a big old box of goodies. <laughs> hey, Manny. Oh, tape and bubble wrap. Good morning to y'all. Oh my god, love the flying pig. Right, Nanny? Hey. Push bun. I'm preparing for doing 100 days of jewelry. Woo. Uh, what are your thoughts slash advice? Um, ooh, 100 days of jewelry. Um... Stick with what you're familiar with at first and then build on that. Like, um, it can be, oh, what are these? I don't know, but they look super cool. What are those? I have no idea. I don't know if they're teeth or not. I guess I'll open it. <laughs> I don't know if they're bones or plastic fork tines. I don't think they're plastic fork tines. Hey, Anita. Seed bead bezel. Right on. Thank God. Or I would have had all my nerdy stuff sent to a friend. Ooh. Was there a tag on the back? No, no tag. Um, No, that's just... The item number for the uh, box that it's in. Ooh, they feel. They feel like shell. Are these shells? I don't know. Azmuth will probably know. I'm actually catching your live stream. Hey, Jody. <laughs> I'm gonna package those up, nice and tight. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's no other notes or anything in here telling me what's what. So. It's in a bag. What's in the bag? <laughs> yeah, um, for doing a hundred day challenge, um, don't don't hesitate to stick to your comfort zone a little bit and then branch out. Like you don't have to try something completely new and totally challenging every single day. Because sometimes I have pers and again, this is you. You don't have to do anything that I'm suggesting. Um, but no, I, I choked on my eggs this morning. <laughs> I was having two eggs for breakfast and like part of it got tangled up in my little hangy downy thing and went up my nose. <laughs> so I've been a hot mess. Um, oh no, Appalachian says, uh, sent a message to your Etsy store but never got a reply. I'll double check that because sometimes it's been, I'll click send and then leave the page thinking I'm done. <clears throat> and then it'll give me like an excited mark and be like message not sent. And sometimes it'll, it'll like double send it, so it's, I'm having problems with the app. But, uh, <laughs> do you buy your tie-dye shirts at a certain place? I get all of my shirts that I wear like this from Unleash the Goddess. She's a super cool lady in Atlanta. Ooh. Yeah, okay, finish my thought. Um, try something, like, completely new once a week. Uh, whenever you're doing a 100-day challenge or a week challenge or a 30-day challenge or something. Like, you don't have to necessarily, um, like, push yourself completely out of your comfort zone every single day. Um, and then 
a lot of the times I have my own personal breakthroughs whenever I kind of be like, I'll sit down with very similar beads and very similar wire and be like, okay, I'm going to make like 10 of something. And then just repeating that same pattern or that same concept, the evolution that can happen between one piece one and piece 10 is like, you can't even predict it. Um, you know, and it's just like, you might surprise yourself. So, uh, don't think that just because you're sticking to your comfort zone that you're not also growing. Manny, that's really good advice. Manny says, the other thing I've learned is if you that if you get stuck, move on. You can always come back to it. That's very fair. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, okay. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wow. Snake chain. Gold snake chain. Kristen says, I'll tell you the story about the chocolate milk later. Okay. <laughs> Aloha, lady. I'm home in Maryland now. I can get my life back and get on Patreon. And send you some oh, right on. What's this? This nice little bag. How's the weather there? It's sunny, but freezing outside is the weather today. <laughs> Porcupine quills. Ooh. Oh, those are so cool. I'm going to have to do like a really tribally fairy house or something cold but sunny ah uh, thanks cheryl randy i just have to say like and i'm not just saying this because i like you my heart flutters every time i see your name on my feed randy i'm just saying like because i'm like randy's in here because he puts up with me all the time you guys like for him to come in i know i asked him to moderate but just the fact that he's still in here moderating i'm like <laughs> so, <laughs> you young lovers. Actually, Randy and I will be celebrating um, our 13-year anniversary next feeling. <laughs> Peddler says, oh, queasy feeling. Ooh. Check out these shells. This beautiful lavender color. Oh. Oh, they're saying, they look like little shell roses. Wow, I wonder what kind of shell those are. <laughs> Valentine's Day soon, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, last package in this box. <laughs> I have a lifetime supply of bubble wrap now. What's this? <gasps> Minions! Ah! <laughs> Yo! <Yeah>. Hello! <laughs> These are so cute. <laughs> oh, they're tangled. Oh, stumpy little minions. <laughs> Banana. Um, Christina asks, is your mom still visiting? Um, she will be coming to visit. It, it just, it keeps getting pushed back and pushed back. Um, ooh, such a pretty little charm. Oh my God. Did you make this? Look at that. Seed beads. Um, Lost my train of thought. Mom's coming to visit this coming Monday. Her plans keep getting changed around. It just keeps changing her mind. A little mermaid and hummingbirds. Oh, wow. Check that out, you guys. That's beautiful. And it's hollow. Hey, Lara. <laughs> Look at that ring. A little too big for that. Blingin'. Oh wow, two of another ring. <laughs> I do get the bestest presents, Chris. <laughs> you can get engaged without uh getting married, grins. Uh well in that case, Randy and I have been engaged for 13 years. Like we were pretty committed right from the get-go. It's a beautiful bag too. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Sabrina, these are beautiful gifts. Thank you so much. Uh, question, resin or nail polish finish on polymer clay tabs? Um, here, just a second. I'll show you the rings better. I really like this one. I think they're both resin. This one's glass. They're both glass. But it's a very nice amber color. It's just a little too hard and you can see the bubbling. But they're lampwork glass. They're beautiful. <laughs> oh, 
bubble wrap. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, the nail polish doesn't seem to do so well on, not all nail polishes do well on polymer clay. Sherilyn says, congrats on 13 years. Me and my man been together for 10. Right on. It's not to be this way, but it does start to, to blend together. Um, Mariah asks, isn't that a legal marriage? Like, if you've been with someone so long like that, we could claim common law marriage, but we also, um, I don't know about the UV polish on polymer clay, Jordan. Uh, we don't try to claim common law because I don't want my debts to be able to haunt Randy. Um, and it, it's, it's different. We move around so much. Like, this is the longest we've lived in one area ever. Like, in my entire life, I've never lived five years in the same like house. So, um, woo, so pretty. Thank you though, Sabrina. Um, so yeah, we could claim common law, but we just don't. <laughs> okay, now this one, this next package, woo, is from Amazon Fulfillment Services. Man, Sabrina, that was, that was an awesome bunch of gifts. Those were all lovely. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Checking on the battery. We're still at 82%. That's good. Um... How do we get to your Amazon wish list? Asked Lindy. Um, Jordan says, Vaughn, you need to have a meet and greet. That'd be pretty cool. I'd love to have a meet and greet. Um, <coughs> you can get to my Amazon wish list on my YouTube page on the about. You click about and then it'll have like a section that lists all the different websites and social media. The Amazon wish list should be there. <gasps> um, oh my God. What does this say? What is this? Who's this from? In but okay, well it looks like an incomplete note. It just says dot dot dot. And seeing all the wonderful birds was awesome. They have great activities for the community to do and it's all free. I wish I could go back there and live. What is Cricket Cruncher? Does it say who it's to? I think this might be to Azmuth. Oh, here's the first part of the note. Hi Azmuth. Azmuth, I just opened your mail. It had my name on the outside, though. <laughs> I'll close this back up and let Asmus open his own mail. But, like, kid you not, though, it says Yvonne Williams, P.O. Box 238. So. <laughs> Ooh. If and when I find them, do you want some fossil shark's teeth from my beach on the Chesapeake Bay? That would be amazing. Do you have a special place to display gifts from your viewers? I do. It's in my room that I don't show people because my bedroom is really like a mess right now. So, yeah. <laughs> but I kind of keep, like, my whole room is just gifts from folks. So, and then spread throughout the house, too. So, <laughs> okay, that one is for us, man. Okay, now this one says to Yvonne. It's got my name on it. I don't mean to be a spoiled child and open other people's mail. Um, <laughs> but it is from Joanne's. Which I think this is from my good friend Judy. Quick is home now. Azmuth would be proper if you're sending as a box of what? Mm hmm. I agree, but it has to be theirs. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Gotten crumbly clay from Fire Mountain before. <gasps> what? Now it doesn't say anything about not being to me. Just saying. This is mine. <laughs> it's a new pasta machine. Optional motor. Hmm? Yeah, I think this is just the machine though. Yeah, okay. Ooh. 
So this will be wonderful. Now we'll actually have one for the light and dark. Oh, new and shiny and no clay in it. And the gears probably still line up with each other. <laughs> Can we have your old one? I wouldn't recommend my old one, honestly. The gears don't even really line up. Um, it's a motor. It's not a motor. It's just the machine. So there's that. But <laughs> no, I'd be shitting bricks if it were a motor. <laughs> Uh, no, it just says, um, it says optional machine, but they're on the inside. I'll open it back up. It's the Macon's Professional, uh, pasta machine. Oh my god, I ordered a motor. Oh no! <laughs> uh, do you want me to box it back up? Or... <laughs> Hush, puppy. We'll talk more, uh, Judy. <laughs> it did come with a return label, so... How much was that? I'm not sure. It doesn't say... You <laughs> Can I have a handle of your old one? I somehow lost the handle of mine. I have to use my pliers to turn it. Christina, I do actually have an extra handle that if you send me like um, an email or something. Oh, thanks, Judy. If you send me an email um, with whatever address you'd like me to ship it to, I'll just ship it to you because I've got, I go through machines and save all the parts. So I've got extra clamps. I've got extra, like, I just got the old machines. Um. <laughs> And then our last box. Oh, we've got two things. Okay. Um, this one says Elf Global Sales. What's that? When you order clay, how much do you usually order? I found it at Walmart for 98 cents each. But I'm not sure if it's good quality or not. Um, a lot of the clay from Walmart still is pretty good. Some of it is um, quite soft and so it can be difficult to... Uh, oh, there goes my big surprise. Oh, crap. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> Has this? Open my mail. I did. It had my name on the box. There's your mail. Come open it. Well, I could tape it yeah. back up for you, but you have to come sit by me, though, Morty. This is Morty. Do 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 do. I'm a gift. Is that the first one? Yeah, I didn't uh, read that part. I read the second half of the note. Hi, Azmuth. I saw a video where you were on Cornell's website. I used to live on the edge of a forest where they have their sanctuary. I used to take long walks with my kids there in all kinds of weather. It's beautiful. I don't know what's wrong, though. Oh! These are uh, water things for my, for my beetles. Got a lot. They're going to have water forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are these the ones with the calcium? Uh, I don't know. <coughs> I don't think Excuse so. me. Either way, thank you. <laughs> These are coming handy yet. Eventually I'll get more beetles. Oh, and there's more. Oh, there's, oh, it's, it's like a, is there a story? <laughs> um, two of them were notes, note. two of them were, oops. <laughs> Good job. Yep. <laughs> okay, so that's like a packing set. Okay, awesome. Oh. In continuation, and seeing all the wonderful birds was awesome. They have great activities for the community. Community. Wow, I can't talk. The community <laughs> to do, and it's all free. I wish I could go back there to live. What is quick cricket quencher? It's insect water, so that you don't have to put. It's a, cricket flavored drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you um, put the stuff in a tray or a bowl, and the insects are able to drink without drowning, and it doesn't grow mold and dead bodies and things like that. Was, oh my god, it's huge. Yeah. It's a volume of oh, burbs. Wow. Holy crap. This is a giant bird book. I'll add it to all of my interpretive stuff. This Northern, America. Northern America. Northern American birds. So, oh my god, oh, look wow. at that. Awesome reference pictures, too, oh, I yeah. imagine. Yeah, it's hard to show. My dog. Right. That's Luke. 
They're really, really high quality <laughs> burbs. Ooh. High quality burbs, top notch. 100% yeah, burb. They're not pictures. <laughs> well, are they pictures? They are pictures. At least for the most part, they're just pictures. really well edited out backgrounds, too. Yeah. They're either pictures or paintings. I think it goes back and forth. Right. That's yeah, this is incredible. Cool. Thank you, whoever you were. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's beetles for consuming the flesh of animals to get their skeletons. That is... Yep. <laughs> they're, uh, they're domestic beetles. <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like. I was about to deter you, but I can't. There's no judgment here. It smells like cereal. I'll eat one if you eat one. <laughs> no, I don't want to eat one. It's purple. It's purple? Yeah, it's purple. Well, it's not purple. No. I was like, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know the colors. I don't think that you're supposed to eat them. Does it say not for Vons? Uh, don't let your Vaughn eat it. It says nothing about not eating it. Okay. <laughs> for the record. <laughs> That may be amethyst. No, really, they smell like cereal. Just really faintly like cereal. Do you not have a sniffer? They smell like water beads. <laughs> like. <laughs> uh, no taste. Don't die. I'll try not to. Okay. <laughs> Double dog Darius says you bet. Well, I was with eight okay, sons, well, so he wins. Okay, kids, no Tide Pods one. eating. It's not a Tide Pod. <laughs> I don't like that texture. Oh, no? It's like cartilage. It doesn't have a flavor. Isn't it just like gelatin or something? This is how Tide Eating Tide Pops started. Hey, Carol, <laughs> sorry. I just saw your saying I'll talk to you later message. Um, <laughs> Mickey else is yuck. <laughs> it's just water. It's a polymer with water in it. I basically ate wet plastic right there. And now, like, uh, if you get sick like 10 years from now, from that, like, nesting in your I've appendix. In, I've worked in factories and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be asbestos that gets me That's before fair. the water crystals get <laughs> in. Ooh. Yeah, this is huge. I think these are from Judy. <laughs> uh, it's more of the Halo Lumiere paint. Um, that sounds yum. What plastic? Not. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this stream will be up for viewing after it's all said and done. Ooh. Halo pink gold. That one looks a lot like copper. <laughs> Mikio says, great video this morning, as. What video? Chicken butts. Oh. I don't remember. I, I edited about four videos last like, night. Like, who am I? I can't remember what video I posted. <laughs> I posted, I edited four videos and posted two to two different channels. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <clears throat> You'll forever be reminded as a dude who eats blue beetle stuff. <laughs> Uh, Give it to Azith. He'll eat anything. Try it. Look, if it's good enough for my beetles, it's good enough for me. That's true. Please don't eat. Yeah. All this. <laughs> you get, Please don't I just, eat brain fart. <laughs> yeah, well, just all the weird things I've seen you feed those beetles. <laughs> like, they here's a, a segment of snake. Of, yeah, a bit of snake still in there. Oh, uh, Azith. Water, polyacrylamide. That'll what will what'll get you in the end. What are these? I don't know if they're shells or bones or... Oh, uh, I think they're pieces of coral. Oh, really? That makes sense of the texture. <laughs> Shame on you for letting small children do bad to put bad things in their mouths. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are a, a, a type of coral. It's like a that's calcium. super cool. They got a nice, neat texture to them. I didn't I like the silicone texture. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it's a piece oh. of coral. <laughs> like a, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> as <laughs> you're the one wanting to put. Shit Are they face. dentillum shells? Don't judge me. <laughs> Are they what? Dentillum shells? They we'll could, they, we'll they have they to Google it. Like, yeah, they look a lot like that. Um, they look uh, super cool. I'm like it, dragons. It's sort of what diatomaceous earth is sort of made out of, but a bigger version right. of that. Okay. So this one, do you guys need an adult? Yes. <laughs> we need an um, adultier adult. No. Because Asmund's actually, he's older than all of us. It's true. Like... He's like, like 300 years old. The <laughs> so they wanted to know what was in this. Okay. Uh, water, polyacrylamide, acrylamide, copolymer, mm -hmm. uh, polyacrylamide copolymer, it's one word, uh, potassium sorbate, so it's like a preservative, and then F and D blue number one. 
So it's a dye. <laughs> it's basically water and plastic. <laughs> they say you look like a baby. Me? That's what you get for being an elf wizard, though. Yeah, well. I made, <laughs> I made a few bargains with a few deities. Yeah, yeah, we do what you do. Um, <laughs> it's called a cackly boss. Oh, Pat's gonna come adult sit us. <laughs> so this one here, um, we might not have gotten all of the mail. They're really bad about actually putting all of it um, into our P.O. box. So, uh, <laughs> what is that in dog years? 300 years old? So, uh, like, 30 times 7, whatever that is. Uh -huh. 20... No, 300. Years. You didn't, that was not straight. <laughs> I was looking that was, at you. <laughs> that was not even close. Goose, with your judgment. <laughs> I'm going to read about a cackling okay. goose right now. <laughs> right there. Paint test for your texture, piece of clay, sort of paint it a few colors and then spritz with water. I'll be doing that. Okay, so. Did she make it? Mm hmm. Good. Uh, this one is actually from another Yvonne. It says Yvonne Flint. Fun dip in my butt. No, that's fine. Wait, but no, can I do the? Can I have the? Look more Thank stuff. you, Lauren. Thank you. She gave us sugar candy. I already know I like this stuff. Oh, I got ice cream too. I probably you did? Put it in the freezer. It's not in the freezer? Well, no, I set it on the thing and then Randy was like, Goop, did you open your mail? Oh. Did you it's just get song. home, or? Yeah, I just got home. Plain mm -hmm. chop. What? That's a North American bird? Ah, sugar! Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's Fun Dip. I had my first Fun Dip in about 20 years yesterday. And I'm like, these are delicious! Much um, yeah, Jim, uh, Lauren's visiting. Mmm. Am I talking? Ah. <laughs> you want some? I got some. Oh. I don't want to make. I don't want well, it's, I don't. I don't eat a whole pack, so. Goodness. In me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what this is. It's like a piece of chalk. I don't know. I'll eat it. <laughs> and it says. Ooh, it says lick a sticks. I don't know. The other one said be mine on it. Book is awesome. Gotta put it back in the it's little candy in. holster. It's got turkeys. We got turkey. Turkey. Wild turkey. Wild turkey. And the lesser prairie chicken. Yeah. No, Way to give it a complex. Yeah. Is there a greater prairie chicken? <laughs> there is a greater prairie chicken. <laughs> that was a fun dip. My favorite will always be the candy cigarettes. Right on. <laughs> okay. Oh, so back to our last package of the day. Where? Um. Oh. <laughs> Do you cook all the poly clay with your eyes? Does it affect the polish? Um, also, what type of paint do you recommend? Um, Jordan, whenever I uh, paint uh, the eyes, I let them cure for about three days, and then I put them, like I sculpt around it, and then bake it all in the same day. I that, try to not let the raw clay sit against the nail polish. That is not how I read that question. Oh, really? Do you bake the clay like with your laser eyes? Is what oh, I'm with your saying. laser <laughs> eyes, yeah, all the time. You need pixie sticks. When you bake your clay creations, ready to use ceramic tile or can you use a cookie sheet? Oh. Um, I per I have a little bit more heat stability with a ceramic tile, but if it's a small piece and I'm only doing it for like 30 minutes, I just pop it in on a metal tray. Uh, sterling silver wire. Any? Oh, no, little turbino. Tubinoses. Albatross. Go. I interrupted Go. Oh, it, um, sure Hey, there's the mailman. He's running. Ooh. Hmm? He shouldn't be here for another hour. Yeah. Um, focus, Vaughn. Uh, this is our last package of the day. It is from Yvonne Flint in Texas. Um, I didn't get the ameth amethyst beads yet, but that doesn't mean that they're not waiting for us at the post office. It just, there were two keys and three yellow slips. Um, for the sterling silver wire, Rio Grande is the place that I always hear the best reference from. But they have some lovely silver filled at Parawire. Which is like a very, very affordable price too. This is not, this is bomb on sugar. <gasps> oh. oh my. Okay, it's Yvonne. Uh, uh, just riograndecom What's it? 
Oh, you put the little note in there? Thank you, guys. That's, yeah. I mean, that's a really cool gift. All um, of this is really I'm cool. With it. Ah! It said, Yvonne, thank you for all you do. Enjoy, Vaughn. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> It's like, hey, Vaughn, I'm Vaughn. How are you doing, Vaughn? I love these. <laughs> Y'all, nail polish in colors I don't have either. These are super glitter heavy. That's sure awesome. About that? I'm positive, oh, actually. Yeah. Those. I don't have any of these colors. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know what that face My means. mouth hurts. Does it? Nah. From the sugar? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Check Ooh. that out. These are perfect size for shaggy loops. And then more nail polish. There's the mail mail. You got anything? No. <laughs> I don't think he's here yet. That I just walked by the... <gasps> Look at that. That's pretty. That's like... My cap or something? Purple. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this one's got a little head on it. I only wear black nail polish because I'm emo. I don't wear <laughs> nail polish though. <laughs> it's got a little head. Is that Ursula? I don't know. Yeah, it's Disney brand. What's this? Ah. In Maleficent. <laughs> um, Shaggy Loop is a chainmail weave. I actually have a tutorial up on it. It's a. Uh, the beginner chainmail bracelet tutorial. Oh wow, a whole set of stamps in the alphabet, in fancy, and in a plastic mason jar. So they won't get all dirty, and I, I won't lose them. Ooh. Beads. Those are super pretty. I love that tone of green. Yvonne, these are awesome! And I'm not just talking to myself, these were sent to me by Yvonne. River says, Vaughn, did you finish the cosplay? No, not yet. I'm working on it, though. Last night, I decided to redesign the belt. Yeah, for the Horde, Christina. Wet and Wild paint palette. It's paint? Or yeah. Is it, or is it face paint? I think it's face paint. Wet and Wild... Not for use around eyes. Yeah, it's it's face paint. Super cool. It looks like it's a grease-based paint, but that'll be perfect. Somebody asked about whether you have to have a license for something. Oh. No. Boo what? Alliance. Boo. <laughs> Do you have to have a creator's license to sell your Etsy on Facebook? Nope. They haven't at any point. It's honestly probably not a bad idea to get a business license and like talk to an accountant, figure out all the things that you need to do for in your um, local area and state. But also income taxes are right. Um, but uh, like Facebook and Etsy, they don't ask for any of that information. They just send you your tax forms once a year. With you, my elf eyes see all <gasps> black lipstick. Should we put on a bunch of black lipstick? I look like a social justice warrior with black lipstick on. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Will you dress up with me, Asmuth? I guess. Okay. Ah, black lipstick! <laughs> I have to go do adult things like work. Well, we're gonna sit here and eat candy and put on lipstick. Woo! I think I saw a troll just there. A uh, the good kind of troll, the war. Oh, yeah? Was I'm it Chrissy? Chrissy? Who was it that said Horde of Horde? Because you know how it goes. Now, I'm not particularly good at putting on a... I am not a social justice warrior, just for the record. I'm not good at putting on lipstick. Um, Brandy has... Oh, God! <laughs> what? Uh, oh, no. This is uh, gonna end badly. Candy. Actually, that's not as bad. My lips hurt because they're chapped. I've never worn black lipstick before. Really? I've only worn the oily sort of Halloween stuff. 
Rhea says lip pencil. I'm gonna look and see are they. Ooh, they sent other colors. Are these lipstick? Wait, it says lip color. Because <laughs> I'm like, am I putting like contour or eyeshadow on my lips? Ghostly beings. There's a black and a gold. Do you, I want to like, just. <laughs> Will you be crafting in the live stream later? Um, I don't think so. Uh, this phone makes crackly noises when we stream now. I'm out walking the dog in the freezing cold trying to keep the phone warm. Yeah, as it does give me that look a little bit like, don't you touch me. <laughs> this would definitely benefit from some lip liner. But I'm going to put this gold up in it. Oh, it's got the wrapper on still. <laughs> Mickey, is it? Yeah, Vaughn the goth. Is it? I don't know how to do this. Like, I watch all these Instagram videos of, like, of, like, people with lips putting on makeup. Um, people and, with lips? Well, it's like they've got, like, like lip fillers, kind oh, of. like giant lips? Yeah, they've got, like, perfect little, like, brat's lips. I did way too much. <laughs> people with lips. But no, y'all know what I mean. Uh, hopefully. Crow. Fishy lips. Right? Uh, you don't see how many takes it'll need, right? No, definitely need some lip liner for that top lip because I have a super defined That's like sour. Cupid's bow. Oh, just the powder? Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh. I got it on my nose. <laughs> you gotta cover the butthole. Really? It doesn't go on there though, does it? Is that, is that what it's called? The butthole? <laughs> like, on my... It doesn't... On my mouth is too wet. It doesn't go on there. I don't know. Mm. Can't help you. Mm-mm. <laughs> Looks like a butthole. <laughs> well, thanks, thank you. And this is my face. It's like, girl, that's a booty hole. Actually, black isn't that bad. It needs cleaned up on the top lip for sure. And like over here is kind of wonky. Demonetized due to butthole. <laughs> yeah, too much butthole in your live stream. <laughs> <laughs> and I went so badly to just like black out everything else and just like. <laughs> well, now we're definitely demonetized. Yeah. Yvonne, the tongue matches. <laughs> but no, I mean, this could have ended much more poorly. Um. <laughs> than what it did. Do you want to wear some? Can I draw on you? <laughs> You're like, don't touch me. <laughs> Pulsating pucker. <laughs> Have you been into the gummy bears? No, the gummy bears are over yonder. I did eat some. That's where they went. Mm -hmm. They were taking up room in the fridge, and every time I saw them, I'd eat them. <laughs> and I don't need to get drunk on gummy bears at 11 in the morning <laughs> when I'm going in for my yogurt snack. I do have a good face. Yvonne's face is officially black and blue. Don't take my sugar away. What's your favorite candy? Um, chocolate. Like, I'm a sucker. <laughs> now you need espresso. Where did those espresso beans go? A chocolate covered espresso beans that Jim said? They're in the kitchen. They're, we're out in the kitchen. I can get them. No, oh, I don't need them right this second, but I was wanting no, them the can, other I day. Will, I, I will make them accessible. I'm not gonna tell you where my hand is. Asmith hid the brownies. I have to hide all the candy and everything in here because somebody is on a diet. Mm. Chocolate what? Chocolate anything. I like chocolate with nuts. I like chocolate with fruit. <laughs> Laura says, stop giving them ideas, Piper. Yeah, then this is why I usually don't wear lipstick because now I'm getting black lipstick on like everything. Jordan says, as I, like, gobble chocolate, um, or candy. How's the diet going? Pretty well. Uh, I've lost five pounds and maintained it off since the beginning of the year. Um, brownies are excellent diet food. 
I'm gonna have to do something to blot this. Actually. I like chocolate covered cherries. It's probably my favorite candy. <gasps> ah, kissy lips. Chocolate covered cherries? Yeah. Have you had the chocolate covered blueberries? Yes. Are they any good? No. Okay. Mwah. That actually came out pretty good. Put it on Etsy. <laughs> right on. I haven't done that since I was a kid either. But no, let's. What do you think, Asmith? What does what? Marty think? What? What? Cause he went. <laughs> Asmith is so done with my shit. <laughs> like he's like. Gray. They look dead. No, it's too late. They, they look, look dead. They're like green tinted. Well, really? They put like four different kinds of lipstick on. Just two different kinds and like a bunch of different layers. Uh huh. They look green to me. <laughs> I can see that. I don't know. I'm embarrassed now. What? Super self conscious. There's more gifts in here. Yeah, there yeah, there is. <laughs> Ooh, is there? Oh, that's pretty. Bag. What's in there? There's a thing Ooh. in there. Sorry, I got super distracted. Oh, well, thanks, Daniel. No <laughs> Ooh. It tells you how to put your makeup on. Well, that, that's helpful. Now I have all the makeup to do this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My daughter gave me dark chocolate with brandy in it for Christmas. That sounds yummy. First time, first time as an adult that I got super sick um, on alcohol <laughs> was these little chocolate bottles from Costco that were full of different types of liqueurs. And I ate like 30 bottles <laughs> of like, which basically had like half a shot. Randy's asking, how much longer are you going to be streaming? We're at 57. I'm going to finish up this box and then we'll be down there, Randy. This is beautiful. Look at those beads though. They're so vibrant. Do you like your book? I swear I like my book. I saw this on Amazon. I didn't think it was quite this big. Oh, really? They were just a little... Mm, that's a big book. book. That is not a field it's guide. Legit a book. No, that's a library a reference yeah. tool. That is so cool. She isn't going to see it. Oh, well, fun. You learn how to pack a lot of stuff in a box for her. Is it why I only send a few things at most? <laughs> Like jelly beans. I call dibs on first snake or first vertebrae from your beetles. Well, I've got some snake vertebrae working on them right now. Hey, Yvonne! I don't know who She's the lady that, who sent it. It was Jim. Oh, Jim. Who sent us all the gummy worms. So Jim wants the vertebrae. I don't know how many there will be, but I have about this much of a snake in there right now. Flint that's wool. The beads make me think of spring, right? Is it staying? It's yeah. pretty much staying put. Man, that's loud in my ear, though. I have like a sugar headache, and now it's stuck. That's life now. That's in my hair forever. <laughs> Ask again. Trinity, what was your... Yeah, right, that's what she said. No, that's beautiful, though. <gasps> that's a big old thing of beads. Again, big beads like this, perfect for shabby loops. J Jim said, whatever, whenever. I make necklaces with them. Mm -hmm. These are pretty, too. I like that mix. Has Vaughn heard of peacock ore? I am. I don't think I have. Have you heard of peacock ore? As the... Pe no. Little skulls! Y'all are turning me sure. into a goth. <laughs> <laughs> you twist it in the opposite direction to get it out. It worked. Cool. It won't work in my hair. Well, so negative. <laughs> you, well, you gotta put it in like a little pigtail or something. <laughs> Bye, Jim. Vaughn, what do you know about powder-coated crystals? I don't think I know a whole lot, Jordan. Dang, you've been on for an hour already? Yeah. That looks very nice on you. Until it does that. <laughs> Look at that bead mix. So pretty. It won't go in my ear. I was wired. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me to put it in my ear. Right. Get out of here with your eye holes. 
Um, goth would be a big, a bit of a high school flashback. It would, Lara. That it's, I don't know, I actually, I think I could deal with the black if it weren't for flashing my butthole at people. I like, I like feather hats. I do like feather hats. Someone said yeah. feather hat. The feather hat would look dashing on you. You look very dashing. Yeah. Asmith looks dashing in a lot of stuff. It's not fair. I like it's Robin definitely Hood growing hats. on me. Robin Hood hats? Really oh, like, yeah, really the little... Like, I really like Robin Hood hats. And tricorns. I don't like baseball hats, though. Randy looks good in a baseball yeah, hat. I look like garbage in a, in a baseball hat. Oh, really? Yeah. These are wood. They're super lightweight. Did I cut my hair? No, not since October. Or something. Hmm. <gasps> Glass pearls. How would I estimate how much feet-wise 20 gauge wire uh, per troy ounce? Oh, I don't know. Um, but as, you do look good in yellow. Because he's Morty today. I'm Morty today. Hey, Sam. Oh, all sorts of stuff. I put on black lipstick for the first time. Uh, and then in a beret. Like beret. A beret. I have a beret, actually, upstairs. Red. Ah. I look very, very French in a beret. I'm talking okay. like offensively French. Offensively? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like you're you're out appropriating some culture? Yeah, let me see if I can get my beret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Teresa. And then some more beads. Yvonne, this is an amazing assortment of beads, and I think I'm going to be able to use a lot of them uh, even in this costume. Yvonne, you should make the crayon lipstick. There are some really amazing colors. I'll try that. It's, I'm going to have to do some lip liner. Like, I'm going to get in on close on you guys, so. But, yeah, you can see it gets pretty muddy around the bottom and up at the top. Nope. But, uh, who won the fairy house? Kristen <clears throat> Harris? Christine Harris? Ooh, hat time coming up. Exciting. Actually, I'm not sure. You do look offensively for it. tuck the hair on it. I can't remember if you tuck in the uh, thing or not. You look like an artist. Yeah. You're so stereotypical. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Le oui and stuff. Le oui. <laughs> Melon es orange. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you just... <laughs> I don't know what I said. As is now painting happy tree. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some more beautiful beads. Um, uh, oh yeah, today we're streaming from Randy's studio. That way we don't bother the whole house with be quiet so I can live stream. <laughs> Como estas? Hola, Carol. That's uh, my first en español tutoriales en español will be this Thursday because I don't know the names of the weeks in Spanish yet. These are beautiful though. So many pretty glass beads. El Monday. El Monday. <laughs> Uh, uh, Anne asks, is your mom still there? My mom actually has not been by to visit yet. Um, she should be by this coming Monday. We will see. But Randy wants to play WoW, right? <gasps> oh, Lord. And more seed beads. This is amazing. I like the stick more than I like the candy. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. The candy's basically pixie stick stuff. This has been an amazing... I don't know where I'm going to put all this. Except for my craft room. Le Monday, if you're going to wear the hat. <laughs> um, yep, from the Patreon notice help. What's up, Gabby? Mm. Como estas? Muy bien. <laughs> uh, I got some Pocky. You, you need, need a baguette. baguette. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have a baguette handy. So, uh, quick Q&A. Before we go, it's Marty. Mm -hmm. It's Morty Gras. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. French word. Marty is. Oh. Tuesday. Okay. So what? Mardi Gras is Good Tuesday. Like. Mmm. And a bottle of wine and a plate of cheese. Bonjour French is sounding better and better. Mm hmm. Mm. I do really like the French language, but it's. Fucking nightmare to learn it. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh my god, I would love all of those seed beads. I love, I love your work, Yvonne. Been trying different things and going good. Thanks for the tutorials. Right on. Elena asks, "What are we eating?" Lauren from downstairs brought us fun dips. <laughs> so we're eating sugar. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. 
to. Carol says Becky. Is that, <laughs> or is it, do you go like. That's. What's that? I'm not sure what that I is. I saw it on the internet. <laughs> so I'm going to do it now. I don't know. It's probably offensive. I see you rolling your eyes at me in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Think you so sly. <laughs> As no. a, did the uh, ice cream? Did, oh God! Well, we're it's, it's not hot. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna go and probably eat ice cream. I got Neapolitan, so we can all have our own flavor. That'll be good if it fits the brief. So fingers crossed. But thanks, you guys, so much for hanging out with us. And an impromptu azimuth coming in. I didn't mean to open your mail. Yes. Being nosy, but is azimuth your real name? Yes. Yep. As far as the world is concerned, it's my name. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was tart. Bye, Bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in tomorrow's videos. Mwah. Bye. Mwah. Mm. <laughs>